process broken. Transferring data. Activated. transition over so good morning <laughs> welcome to uh peter versus the machine i am peter peter agison and i am your host i'm your gamer uh today and your teacher i'm gonna teach uh ticket to ride uh which is a a game that uh i really like i i last week we played Catan, and which is an excellent introductory game uh, when you have people over who you know don't play our kind of games, have never played you know you know a, a, a hardcore game, uh, Catan is a really good one. This is another really good game to play with somebody who is um, you know who you'd like to introduce to our type of, of games. Um, I remember introducing it to my mother-in-law, for example, and she loves this game. Um, it's uh, it's got a just enough randomness the the randomization in the game uh plays a big role so it there's a you know there's a good chance that somebody who's never played the game can win again or children you know if you have kids um <clears throat> which means that today there's a good chance that i won't win because not only do i have to be smarter than the ais i have to be luckier than the ais but we'll we'll see what what happens uh, uh in the game today uh, Ticket to Ride was created, I guess, around the turn of the century by uh, Days of Wonder. It was designed by Alan Moon, an excellent game designer. And I think that it was, um, Days of Wonder, I think, was one of the first big acquisitions of Asmodee when they started their buying spree, started buying up companies. I think that was the first American game company that they, they bought <coughs> based primarily on this title, which is still an evergreen title. Uh, in Ticket to Ride you'll have a, a map of some place and you're building railroads um, and so the the line has been extended to maps all over the world so uh, if you end up playing this game and you like this game uh, you can you can have a whole pile of ticket to ride uh, games and I, and I do over on my um, uh, bookshelf there my game shelf there all right let's uh, let's get um, going here with the um, uh, the game itself. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the, the welcoming screen when you first log in. On I'm playing the, the version that's on Steam. And so you can get most of the maps. In fact, I'll show you how that works here in a second. So if we hit play, go to uh, solo mode because I'm playing against the computer. Um, you can pick a map that you want. I'm going to play with the U.S. map, so it has this. Uh, this comes up with a bunch of different places like this, and there's a whole bunch of different American map versions. I'll play the classic game. If I fold, yeah, this is the U.S. map, the original game. Okay, this is the original game, so that's that's of course where we should start, right? Okay, I'm going to have it at three players, <clears throat> and um, there's no way to set the difficulty on this, so you just play with the three players. At least not that I found, anyway. Okay, so a lot's happening here. As usual, you start the game, stuff 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 goes stuff goes flying by. And you can't even explain it just yet. Um, okay, so now that it's stopped, waiting for me, let, I can uh, uh, explain what's going on here. Okay, so as you can see, there's a map of the United States here. Um, all these uh, rectangles that are of different colors around the board uh, represent rail lines, places where a rail line can be constru uh, constructed. And uh, so um, uh, I don't think you can see my, yeah, you can see my mouse. It's really small. Okay, so like Helena to Duluth, for example, is, a, is an example of a place you could build a rail line. Um, you, you get train cards, which are down on the right side. You see all these cards, blue, white, red, et cetera, all these different train cards. And um, these train cards come in different colors, as you can tell. Well, um, to build, a railroad say from Helena to Duluth where you see that it takes there's six orange rectangles you need to have six orange um, train cards 
to to be able to do that. Uh, so if it's so this black one, say Duluth to Winnipeg has five black ones, you would need five black train cards to do that. You'll notice that a bunch of the tracks are gray, like Winnipeg to Salt Lake Marie is six and gray. There are no gray track uh, train cards. Gray means that you can choose the color. So you could choose blue or white or red or, or whatever, but all the cards would have to be the same color. So to connect Winnipeg to Salt Lake Marie, you would need six black train cards or six red train cards. Um, and, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> when it is your turn, you have three options or one of three things you can do. You can pick one of those three things and that's all you're going to do. One of those things is to draw train cards from over here on the right. And you can draw, normally you can draw two of them. So I look at this, I could draw a the red one or the white one or the red or excuse me the blue one the white one the red one yeah get the colors right uh whichever one i want or i could take down here's the deck i could take a blind draw if i don't like if i want to draw train cards but i don't like any of the colors that are there i can just take a blind draw <coughs> and um if i really need green for example i can just I can take those um after you draw the first one, the one you draw, if it's from one of the five that are face up, it will be replaced immediately. So if I took the blue one that's on top, um, I, I would take that card. I, I would get to see what card replaces it before making my second choice. Uh, the exception to the rule about drawing two train cards is that there are locomotives, which are wild cards. Um, there's not one, uh, I'll point it out when it comes up. It, it has a rainbow of colors. Um, it looks very pretty. <laughs> uh, so the locomotive card is a, um, uh, uh, oh, by the way, Armando. Hi, Armando. Hi, Steve. Uh, Armando, ticket a ride. Sorry for being on the late train. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Better late than neighbor. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so if a locomotive is visible here, and you take it, it ha that has to be the only card you draw. So, <clears throat> um, uh, so that's the exception to drawing two cards. If you, now if you draw it, if you take a blind draw and you're lucky enough to get a locomotive, you still take another blind draw. Um, so that's that. Okay, so the second option of what you can do on your turn, in addition to drawing more train cards, is to lay track which is where you turn in some of those cards in order to do what we were talking about. So that's um, like lay out five black train cards to connect Winnipeg and Duluth. You have to connect a whole section of track at once. You can't just put down one or two of the cards from Winnipeg to Duluth. You have to play, you have to wait until you have, oh, I said five, four, actually. You have to wait till you had four black train cards and then you would play those four black train cards and lay that entire bit of track. And you, and in the game, you actually have these little train, uh, the little plastic tokens that are trains of different colors, and you would, you would put those there. Now I'm playing yellow, so I have little yellow trains. The yellow, this is a potentially confusing bit. The yellow color of my train tokens or digital versions of those tokens here, um, have nothing to do with the colors of the track and the colors of the train cards and stuff like that. The, the, those, uh, the, they are all yellow and that's just to signify that, that section of track was developed by the player playing yellow. Okay, um, the third thing that you can do on your turn is you can draw more ticket cards. And also, it's the first, on your very first turn, uh, you draw ticket cards. So you could see that's what these cards are down on the bottom row here. One says Montreal to Atlanta. And the nice thing about the digital version is that when I um, uh, highlight, when I mouse over Montreal to Atlanta, um, it uh, shows big green dots where Montreal and Atlanta are in case uh, uh, you're not sure where they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is not a geography test. This is here to help you uh, if, if you're not sure where Salt St. Marie is. Okay, so I could see 
and get a quick glass. Of, okay, that's where Montreal and Atlanta are. The other ticket card I have is Salt Saint Marie and Oklahoma City. And the third one I have is Boston to Miami. Okay, <clears throat> this has to do with points. So uh, this game is a point-based game. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. You get points for laying track and for connecting the cities on your tickets. And by the way, you do not have to keep all the tickets that you're, that you're dealt. And you might decide not to because at the end of the game, every ticket that you where you've connected the cities on those tickets. So let's say I've connected Montreal and Atlanta by maybe I built two from Atlanta to Raleigh and then Raleigh to Pittsburgh, but then maybe I went over to Chicago and then to Duluth and then up to South Saint Marie and eventually got back to Montreal. It's okay. It doesn't have to be the most efficient route, the most direct route. It can be as windy as as you want it to be or as it just ends up being. Um, then if I did that at the end of the game, uh, I would get nine extra points. But if I didn't do that, if I failed to connect Montreal to Atlanta, at the end of the game, I would lose nine points. So <clears throat> having these ticket cards in your hand um, is a commitment that you're making where um, you're either gonna make points or you're gonna lose points depending on whether you connect those cities on all your tickets or not. Uh, and of course, each one is evaluated separately. Um, you, also get, uh, you also get points as you go along when you lay track, depending on the length of the track. And so there's a little scoreboard down here in the right. I don't know how well you can see it on, uh, on, on your monitors, but I'll tell you what it says. This depends on how many trains are in the track that you use to connect determines how many points you get. So if it's one long, and there are some that are only one long, like Dallas to Houston. By the way, you'll note that some of the connections have room for two different tra uh, track, like two different players can connect Dallas to Houston. So I could play a train connecting Dallas to Houston and then the um, one of the AIs or another player if we were playing in person could also do Dallas to Houston. That is if there's three or four players. In a two-player game, the first person that gets it blocks the other one. And so uh, if there are two colors, like let's say over here, Salt Lake City to Denver, you notice that one of the tracks is three red trains. The other one is three yellow trains. Um, whoever connects that first gets to decide. Uh, so let's say I, I built this track with three red trains. Um, I can't also build the yellow track, somebody else. I have to leave that for somebody else. Uh, but once I've tr laid the red track there, somebody else goes to connect Salt Lake City to Denver. They have to play yellow. Um, that's, uh, that, that's the rule. So, Okay, so uh, if, you, if you connect two cities with just one track, you get one point. If it's two tracks, it's, it's two points. If it's three tracks, it's four points. If it's four tracks, it's seven points. And if it's five tracks, it's 10. If it's six tracks, it's 15. So you get um, you get more points per train for doing longer tracks. <clears throat> so it is one of the things in the game where it's good to get, um, uh, to build longer tracks when you can. Uh, it's also harder because uh, you have to accumulate more of those tracks. Okay, so I think that's basically the rules. Um, I'm looking at, if you have any questions, put them in chat uh, if I forgot something. Um, there is also a 10 point bonus in the classic game at the end to whichever player has the longest contiguous uh, track, uh, not counting spars. So that's, um, uh, that's, a, that's a little bonus there. All right, I'm gonna look at these again and actually think about which of these I wanna take. I believe I have to take two of them. Atlanta to Montreal, Salt Lake Mary to Oklahoma City, and Boston to Miami. Okay, what I don't like about a couple of these options is that they're very, uh, they, 
the east eastern U.S. Um, routes tend to be shorter, which are worth less points, and you can really get kind of. I, I feel like it can be very inefficient that that you, you you get more points if you play more out west or where there are longer ones. Now, fortunately, Boston and Miami has a nice long stretch option down here. I could take Miami up to Atlanta if I got a bunch of blue. In fact, I see some blue there. Um, and then head up to, um, uh, to, to Boston that way. <laughs> so I definitely like Miami better than the other two. The other thing that you can do is kind of overlap your routes. So see how Montreal and Atlanta and Boston and Miami are very, very close. So I could do a route that starts in Miami and goes to Atlanta and then goes to Boston and then goes to Montreal. So it's almost the same track that I would would have played without that second ticket. The only thing I the only thing I play with the second ticket is adding the Boston to Montreal. And and I would have wanted to go through Atlanta anyway just because six is more than more than four is, is more points. <clears throat> of course you say that then other people start playing and sometimes they you know the fun of this game a fun of this game is you can get a whole route all laid out and you're just missing one connection and somebody else takes it and then you're screwed because you can't lay track where somebody else has, has, has laid track. So that is, um, there is some natural tension in the game from how quickly do you go out and start laying track and which kind of advertises to other players what your intentions are. <clears throat> you secure those places, but then once, once you're on the map with some track, uh, people can start to deduce where you might be going um, one thing to do is is to be very wary. Like, one thing I would not do is build. Yeah, let's build Miami to Atlanta, and then build Atlanta to Raleigh. Let's say, and then do Montreal to Boston and Boston to New York. Anybody's looking at the map, they're gonna say, "Oh, he's gonna try and connect all of these." And uh, fortunately, there are double routes. They're a little harder to block, but. <clears throat> if if uh, somebody wanted to be nasty to me, they could um, try and try and mess me up because they could see where I'm trying to go. If you just if you just start at one end of your route and start building, people can't really tell where you're going. They they can guess, and they also don't know how far you're going. So you know you might get to New York, and somebody might wonder, well maybe maybe he's done, you know, and they're like no. We went to Boston. Nope. And then we went to Montreal. Okay. <clears throat> so I am... Um, you can take all three cards. I recommend generally taking um, fewer cards. Try to make them, uh, like I said, synergistic like these two are. The one that is not syner not as synergistic like this one, I'm not going to take it. I will get the option of buying more cards later. And that... Um, so it's not like I'm screwing myself out of, of the opportunity to earn another nine points. Okay, I now that I've made the choice of these two tickets, I'm mean, gonna choose and um, it's my turn. Okay, so I start with four uh, train cards. Um, I, you can see I have a, a blue one, two pink ones, and a, and a yellow train card. Um, right off the bat, I'm seeing an opportunity to start working on this line from Miami to Atlanta. I already have one blue card. I'm going to take more blue cards, so I just drag them over. You see that blue card was replaced with the yellow card right off the bat, but I still want blue, so <coughs> that's it. I'm done. Okay, so red just went and immediately laid track, <laughs> or, blue, or excuse me, green. Uh, she laid red track, yeah, so the colors can get a little confusing. Okay, so green has staked out uh, Oklahoma City to Little Rock. Um, that's that's fine. Uh, she might end up coming over here. If I was feeling aggressive, sometimes it's fun to kind of drop down this um, Nashville to Atlanta um, card just for the heck of it because it's somebody has to go... Uh, 
a, a, make somebody go around if they were going to go there. There's a couple places like that where uh, Houston and New Orleans is another one where there's only one track and it's if, if you block it and you had to go there, it's a real pain in the butt. Las Vegas to Los Angeles is another one. <clears throat> so anyway, I want to keep working on blue, but I also am open to some other colors here. If I, uh, for this Pittsburgh, uh, excuse me, New York to Washington, I am going to need either black or orange. And for this New York to Boston, I'm going to need yellow or red. And for these other ones, I just need pairs of two. So uh, I, have, I have a lot of places, Na um, Atlanta to Raleigh, Raleigh to Washington, Montreal to Boston. There's just going to be two of any color. <laughs> so I've got, um, but I'm going to grab one of yeah, the blacker. Well, I'm going to get this second yellow because I need that for Boston to New York. And now I'm going to grab, it's kind of Mox next. Do I want black or do I want? Um, who knows? Or, or orange. I just took the black. Okay, so green drew two. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> so Jane did what I just talked about. She went and dropped down two trains. Uh, I wonder if they're both just playing really aggressive this way. Like, the machine is just like grabbing these difficult spots. It does kind of make me think, maybe I should jump on the Nashville to Atlanta. But I don't need it, so I, I don't know. I think I'd rather just go grab what I want to grab. Okay, I, I'm going to take two orange. Oh, okay, there's the locomotive. Um, I, I threatened that they were in the game. There, there is one. Um, and you can see that it's multiple colors. <coughs> it is a wild card. I don't know how to actually explain what it is. So the locomotive can be played as if it's any color you, you want. So you can... Um, uh, play, you know, if I needed, uh, if I took that card, um, I will, I could, I could lay down one, two, three, four blue cards and a locomotive to complete the track from Miami line. So they're really nice. But like I said, you can only knowingly take one card if you're taking a locomotive. Since I already drew one card this round, I can't draw the locomotive because that would be two cards. And you see how it's set off to the right slightly to show that. <coughs> so, I am going to complete this set of two orange cards. And now you can see the locomotive has slid back into its proper place. And green has gone up there. Red is drawing two cards. Okay, I guess it is it my turn, I guess. I guess it is. Um, I do have, if I don't see a card that I really, really want, and there's locomotive available, I will generally grab it <clears throat> and they're pretty nice cards to have even even though it does mean i only got to draw one card that round okay so i'm still looking for more blue i need pairs of colors but i specifically need i got the pair the two orange that will eventually go up here from new york to washington i've got the two yellow that will go from new york to boston i need a couple other pairs of colors um i am going to take a blind draw because I don't care too much what colors they are except I do need blue <clears throat> there's no blue showing so I'm gonna take a uh, nice thing about blind draws too is that if you get a locomotive um, it doesn't restrict you to only one car oh wow red is playing the loss they are going the AIs are going out and grabbing these spots that can that are choke points. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, be that as it may. All right. Since I don't need to go there yet, I'm not too worried. Wow. A lot of orange. <laughs> Sometimes when you have a chance to get a whole bunch of one color, it's kind of nice to take it. Um, I Like Helena to Duluth, I don't need to go from Helena to Duluth, but... Um, I wouldn't mind laying down six cards and getting 15 points. And so I'm going to go ahead and take the sixth orange card and still no blue. So I'm going to take a blind draw here. And there we go. Oh, wow. 
two locomotives. Okay, there's another rule that if if at the beginning of a turn there are three locomotives on display, <coughs> then um, uh, then you discard all those cards and draw five new ones. And I am well. There's a blue. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this blue because I really I need blue. And then my second card, I'm gonna take a blind draw, and I got a, a black. Okay, great. And the cards are flying. <laughs> Which is good because if I do, I'm gonna go ahead and do this Helena to Duluth because um, it's worth 15 points, and that was they were easy to get, so I got him. Also, I'm kind of fa broadcasting falsely where I'm building track. Um, now I am going to still no more blue. I'm going to take no. I could build this Miami to Atlanta right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a. Uh, there's nobody really threatening my route right now, so I'm not. I'm okay with just kind of collecting cards for a bit. <clears throat> it's back to me. I'm going to go ahead and take another locomotive. And everybody's drawing cards. There's another blue. Plenty more blue. Okay. I'm going to take another blue. And that gives me the five I need to do that. Uh, of course, I can't lay down all this track at once, but um, it is... I do like to make sure I have all the, the bits that I'm going to need so that once I decide to lay track, I can just go every turn laid out before somebody tries to block me. I mean, somebody could still try and block me, of course, but <laughs> it's um, uh, I, they have less time to do that. Okay, so red just went up towards Atlanta. Okay, so now it's my turn. Well, I'm going to uh, go ahead and also go to Atlanta. There we go, Miami to Atlanta. Another 10 points. Okay, so I'm going to play here. Go up to Raleigh. In case red is heading that direction. The red now red if red would have red could still go there. Um it's just uh I wanted to get out in front of that. Okay, I'm saving my two black for here, two of my yellow for here. So I do need to get some other color groups of two. But fortunately, there are two pink here. <coughs> oh, red is connected Los Angeles to Phoenix to Helena. And bunch of presents over here green has got Denver to Little Rock and Vancouver to Calgary so this is interesting uh, you know, I wonder if red laid this track from Denver to Helena because they needed it or because red was thinking that green needed to go up there I I'm not I'm not sure I haven't played this game against AIs very often Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Connect up to Washington. <coughs> I'm kind of anxious. I could draw tickets now, um, but I I really like to, once I start laying track, I really like to connect my cards before drawing more cards that I need. Although I've sometimes debated that. Like, maybe it would be good to... Um, uh, to know more about the routes, the the other routes I'm going to end up wanting to build uh, before I finish one, but I don't know. I'm always just really anxious to get these built. Okay, let's go up to here to Boston. Okay, it's telling me I got the Boston to Miami route connected, and I want to. And since the Boston to Miami route goes through Atlanta, all I have to do is connect Boston to Montreal, and I will have the Atlanta to Montreal route uh, done. So let me grab another white. Yeah, why not another yellow? Sure, why not? Probably should have done a blind draw there, actually, to increase the chance of getting a locomotive, since that wasn't a card I actually wanted. Okay, um, we're cared about. Okay, so there's my two to Montreal. 
I've now connected both of the tickets that I started the game with. You see this game is this game is is not a really long game. It's a pretty short game. It won't take uh, long to finish it. <coughs> I will um uh let's see. That's back to me now. Okay, I am going to take more tickets now. Oh, by the way, how do you when does the game end? Uh, that's a good thing to to watch. Uh, you can see down here in the bottom right the number 24 um, by my yellow train uh, tokens. <laughs> that means if we were playing at the table, it means I have 24 of those tokens left that I have not put on the board yet. So, um, and Mary uh, Marge at Green has 20 left. Jane has 30 left. Um, whoever... Uh, as soon as one of us gets down to only two or less trains in inventory, <laughs> then uh, that triggers the end game. And then every other player, including and that player, get one more turn. So that that's how it is. So do if you do play this game, keep your eyes on the inventory levels because it can sneak up on you. <clears throat> sort of classic mistakes to make are buying tickets you know somebody's only you know somebody's about ready to end the game and you go off and buy tickets well uh you better be able to build those really fast which maybe you can okay so i am gonna buy tickets this is gonna be very interesting this is gonna be uh important to the game to see what these options are um okay so i've got portland and nashville okay so by the way i have this is that's um this Duluth to Helena route could be useful for this. Uh, I could go up here, short routes. I, boy, I would want to grab these two real quick. Um, Nashville to Atlanta and St. Louis to Nashville. <coughs> and um, and hope I can get a bunch of yellow, connect over to Seattle and then down to Portland. Um, it's also worth 17 points, so that's a big bet. Um, that That's kind of interesting. Um, Duluth to El Paso. Uh, it's only 10 points, and I don't know, it doesn't seem that interesting to me. Um, Calgary to Salt Lake City, it's only 7 points, seems like a lot of work. I'm just going to take Portland to Nashville. <coughs> and there's a, a lot of action going into Helena. Okay, so I'm going to be wanting to draw, see what colors do I need? I'm gonna definitely want to go up to Duluth from um, from Atlanta. I'm gonna to want to grab these two spots. I'm gonna need blue or pink to go. If I go this way, I could go up this way. I have options. That's great. It's always great when you have options. Um, and in fact, by the way, let's see, Portland to Nashville. Yeah, I could also build. I'm, I'm gonna to want to build this right at the bat. This is really important. So let me. But I want to see what colors I need. Okay, yellow is going to be really important. Connecting this really long yellow stretch. And then <clears throat> I have options here, but I really need this. So I'm just going to grab Nashville to Atlanta right freaking now while I can. I'm going to use one of the white cards in case I want two blue to go to Omaha to St. Louis. <clears throat> and there goes green. Green's all over the place. <laughs> Red. Okay. See, if I was playing aggressive, I, you say, I, you know, it'd be it'd be fun to connect Phoenix to El Paso just to make it harder for Red to connect these lines. But they could go take this really long black line there, or they could take these two lines up uh, from El Paso up to Denver. So it's really, it, it wouldn't be that decisive. And then I'm then I'm playing cards that don't advance my position. So it's very costly to play aggressive. It may not work. And you're making plays that are are just slowing somebody else down, and, but they aren't speeding you up. So um, I don't know. I don't I don't play aggressive very often. Okay, it's back to my turn. I want to take another. Uh, I'm tempted to draw locomotives. I'm tempted to do blind draws, looking for yellow. Um, well, I really want to get this st louis to nashville uh if i don't connect that um that's going to be a little disappointing so i'm going to grab that oh and there's a yellow all right 
Okay. <clears throat> Back to me. Okay, I'm going to do this connection from St. Louis to Nashville. Now I'm in territory where I have multiple routes. I'm not too worried about uh, getting, you know, famous last words. I'm not too worried about getting to Duluth. I am worried about this Helena to Seattle. And then there's the STP. Any of us live in the Northwest know about the STP? That's a big bicycle race that goes from Seattle to Portland. STP, get it? Okay, anyway. Um, tempted to take the locomotives, I, but I also want two cards. I, it's going to take six yellow to connect Seattle to Helena. I've already got three locomotives, so I think I'm good. I'm just, I'm going to take one more locomotive. <clears throat> See, the problem with taking that one locomotive is that you're just getting one card instead of two. And the quantity of cards matters uh, a lot. So now I'm going to take blind draws. Oh, I got a locomotive. Hey, locomotive blind draw is always great because you still get to draw another card. So that's cool. There goes green connecting Helena to Omaha. Okay. Um, okay. Well... I have enough that if worse comes to worse, I can do this connection here, Helena to Seattle. If I get more yellow cards, I'm not desperate for yellow cards now. Um, I think I just kind of want to start building some of these other connections and to get up to, uh, to connect my St. Louis to Duluth. Even though I have a lot of options here, um, it'd be nice. Now, what I'd like to do is take the three track option Duluth to Chicago, that would have to be red, and then either green or white to connect Chicago uh, to St. Louis. So I'm going to take red cards where I can. There's a red card, and I'll go ahead and take the white card, because that will give me the two white I need to go from uh, St. Louis to Chicago. <clears throat> I want to have, I want to have both of, I want to have all three of those red cards before I broadcast which way I'm going. I don't know how much the AI pays attention to that. I just I have no idea, but certainly. Oh, wow, look at Green has built some long routes and connected. Um, green and Red have been building a lot of long routes and have taken the lead. I am in third place on on points also they don't have many trains left okay i gotta get cracking if i'm going to um, even complete my route okay um i don't have enough to let's see if i keep all my yellow for that i'm gonna keep one red two Hmm. I'm going to take another couple blind draws here. Okay, I'm hurting on red. And these guys are running out of trains. So I've got to start moving. Um, i got six. Okay, if I go pink and blue... Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way because I can. And Marge is down to seven trains. Uh oh, this is this is not good. <laughs> okay, now Red is down to eight trains. Uh oh, am I gonna get all my? Am I gonna get this belt before the game is over? Mars drew, thankfully. Uh-oh. Red played, but not down to two cards. Okay, yes, I am going to get this belt before the game is over. Whew. Okay, that got me up to 58 points. I'm still really trailing a long way. Um, and now I'm going to play 
one more there i got my connection from nashville to portland which is good that's 17 points i would much better to get the 17 points than to lose the 17 points <laughs> too good to ride chaldea oh yeah <laughs> that would be fun uh they could be instead of trains they would be well they could be like um dwarven mining trains <laughs> Okay, there we go. Just in time. Jane has two cards or less. That triggers the end game. Uh, so now it is my last turn. <laughs> and I've got two cards left. Okay, and I'm going to be able to play two cards. Uh, so I'm just going to pop down two cards somewhere. There it goes. Okay, my only hope of winning is if both of those AIs have routes that they did not complete. Okay, so it's doing mine first. You see down at the bottom, it shows the score. Um, I'm at least catching up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm passing them, but I'm getting all, they haven't got their extra tickets yet. So, uh-oh, green is, oh, green lost 20 points because they failed to connect to Montreal. And they failed to, uh, uh, it's going by too fast. I can't read it. Uh-oh, I think red got it. Green got longest track, so they got an extra 10 points. And red beat me by six points, 105 to 99. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you lost. You lost the game today. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Steve. <laughs> Steve did a little scoreboard thing. Uh, okay, well, um, uh, that is Ticket to Ride. It's, uh, it's, it lasts a little longer when it's a bunch of players. Who, everybody's taking their time, but the AIs, of course, go really fast, and uh, that took uh, less than an hour to play and teach. You can see it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple game, but very elegant. What I like about this game is that you don't know who's going to win until the end because you don't know what tickets everybody's holding because those tickets are held in um, privately. You don't know. And so somebody can look like they were ahead, like green, looked like they were gonna smoke me, but they failed to connect a 20 point, I think, ticket and just and that basically put them out of the game. <clears throat> so it's, I like that fact a lot about this game. You don't know who's gonna win until the end because that's really good for uh, beginners and whoever there's that element of mystery um, and uh, you don't feel like well I know I'm not gonna win so I'm like why keep playing so that that's really good uh, next week I am going to play Scythe uh, we are going to go into the world of um, uh, Back to the world of more complicated games. Scythe is going from like one extreme to the other. Scythe is a is an amazing game by Jamie Stegmaier, uh, and it is uh, I, it, I I hope they let you set the difficulty of the AIs because I will set it on the I'm telling you right now I'm going to set it on the easiest AIs there are. Give myself self a chance because it is a it is a tough tough game. It is a beautiful game. Beautiful artwork. Uh, absolutely gorgeous and one of the I would call it one of the essentials like one of the really important games that, that, have, that have come out uh, so hey I want to thank uh, Marcus Mays who's my technical director who's sitting there holding my hand uh, making sure I do this all right uh, Steve Connard who edits the our cinematics we call them which is like the videos you see like the scoreboard he did that and um, uh, also uh, Tanel Lovett, who's on vacation in France, I think, by now. Or maybe she's leaving today. I'm, today's the first. I'm not sure. She's going to go to France for like a month. Good for her. Good for her. She's also our Gen Con TV um, art director. Also, uh, Danny Kennedy and Sarah Moore, who uh, do social media for us and help get the word out about our shows. Um, all right. I am going to uh say thanks for watching and here we go all right thank you bye